So as I said in a video before, I was like, the minute I get my weight down, which I'm working on, I'm only buying vintage dresses or anything that I make myself, period. Look, you cannot, you can't get this quality of stuff anymore. You can't. Not for, you just can't. I don't know what else to tell you. They just don't make this quality anymore. Of anything. Look how pretty. Yeah. My mind is split up. And it is very hard finding plus size vintage that is attractive or not moderately already damaged. Because if you were plus size back then, you didn't have a lot of clothes. You... you Let's just be real here. You'd wear, like, the same stuff. If it wore out, you got a couple new things. But that was it. It wasn't like, oh, let me go get 800 more dresses. No. People didn't live like that back then. But that's my game plan. Lose this weight. Get my body the way it needs to be. So it could be a temple of the Lord, for real. And I'm buying vintage. Like, as we do, as kids are in the year, I'm getting into so. Oh, yeah. Even vintage Barbie. I'm done. Um, sisters. So my 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 cup is running over. So I had my son's birthday party in his class because his birthday is in June. So school will be, school's actually out on the thirtieth. So i was like what am i gonna do i have a little birthday party for him that with like some of his little buddies that we're gonna do next week just because what i found i have a birthday in the summer also it is very hard as you go weeks into the summer to get people to show up to parties so my goal is always to have his party in either very early june or to have it right at the end of may and it has worked out perfectly this year i'm like thank you jesus because i really wanted to be able to have him celebrate with all of his classmates because some of the kids aren't coming back next year and they only do fifth grade and then they go on to you know they're they've changed everything so some of the kids aren't coming back they're going home school all types of stuff so i wanted all the kids to celebrate together plus i've been the room mom for the full year and I have not really been able to afford to do too much for the children without just really spending my time with them. But I'm going to tell you right now, time spent with children means more to them than any gift you can buy them. I promise you, most children are lacking attention. Most children are are lonely. I was a lonely child, so I know this for a fact. No one can tell me different because I was, in fact, that lonely little girl that if a man or a woman paid attention to me, I was on them like, you know, stank on, you know what? I was on them like a fly on crap because I needed attention so bad and it was so much going on that I was so lonely and desperate for attention, especially validation from adults. Because as you're little and you're growing up, you're trying to figure out like, am I even doing this right? Like what's even going on? You know, so just being able to be there with all the children, including my son, to make him feel special, but also to make the other children feel special. I was so happy that the Lord has really given me this opportunity to service these children this way. Like when I tell you, I'm probably going to be crying when this goes off. I just feel it like every time I think about them, I just cry. Like, I really do. I genuinely have a love for these children, including my own, but like, I want the best for all of them. And I was so happy. They were so happy for me to give them something. And they were just little goodie bags, you know, with like the little trinket gifts and stuff like that. And then one of the boys' birthday is tomorrow and he's not having a party. He's going to do like a family type of event. So I told him happy birthday and I gave him his and I gave them all cupcakes and my son was happy. You know, he, my son's one of those people that I'd like to hold his emotions in, but I'll tell you later. Um, but I could tell he was happy, you know, and it was cute because the teacher was happy too. She loves seeing me. I love seeing her and I love spending time with all of them. So th we're coming down to our last few days together of the fourth grade and just of the school year period. I'm probably only going to see all of them together. Like, once or twice next week because this week's pretty much over i'm gonna see them all together i think once or twice next week probably once and then we start the new year and we see how things turn out i don't know if i'm gonna be able to come back and be the room mom for the next for for the fifth grade i don't even know if they really do that in fifth grade but 
as much as I can volunteer and as much as I can be there for them and help and assist and check on them, I'm going to try my best. At least if the Lord allows me to go and see them like once or twice a month, I would love to do that because this class is going to the next grade together because of the way the program works at their school. So it's cool because I already know these kids will all be in the next grade together. I know my, I know who's going to basically be my son's friends. I know what parents I'm going to be around. That is very nice because it makes it easy because it's like, okay, we're kind of down bad for two years together. So, and actually they've been together for two years already. So these kids aren't new to each other. These kids have been friends for a few years. So I say all of that rambling to say that this day has been such a blessing and it's the little things. If we give more than we ask for and we give more than we receive, I promise you the Lord can do a better work in our lives. Give more than you ever could get. My stress has came down just in the fact of knowing that my insurance is finally fixed and I can go to the doctor and get my medicine and get my labs. I have been stressed out. And I had to finally just turn to God and say, I got to just let you do it. O-M-G. So inside the doctor, I sounded so crusty, but I was just a little bit tired. But I was so frustrated with the whole situation. Because when you can't get like your insurance to work and you can't get to the doctor or just any type of insurance, it just literally is the worst. And I was just like, hey, I really got to go to the doctor. I really need to have my labs done. I really need to get my medicine continuous. Like, I can't be over here going through not having my medication. I need my medication, you know? And um, it was horrible. It was literally horrible. But finally, things are on track. So I'm just waiting to get my medication today. I'm waiting to hear back to see what's going on so hopefully soon came to eat before we go out later and we finally made it to P.F. Chang's so I'm pretty excited I'm gonna show you guys what we end up getting